Here we will learn how to graph an Igor. Step one is to create the plot. In Igor, go to the Window tab and select New Graph. Then select the Y values and the X values. Click Do It. This produces a plot. Step two is to add axis labels to the graph. To modify the axis, double click on the axis. In the dialog box, select Axis Label tab. Choose the font and font size. To make the label bold, go to Special, Style, Bold. Enter the label. Here we have set the bottom axis. To set the left axis, copy the text and paste it into the Axis Label tab for the left axis. see the changes as we go because we have checked Live Update. Click Do It to keep the changes. Step 3 is to modify the graph axes. There are many possibilities. Here I will show you some steps that I think improve the look of the graph. Again we double click the axis. In Axis we uncheck Axis Standoff and turn on the mirror axis for both axes. In Ticks and Grids we select the location as inside and set the major tick length to 4. In Auto Man Ticks, we can turn off Auto Ticks and set our own computed manual ticks. In Axis Range, we can turn off the Auto Range and enter in our own manual range. Remember to click Do It to keep all of these changes. Step 4 is to modify the trace appearance. To do this, we double click on the trace. A dialog appears that allows us to set the trace mode. Let's choose Lines and Markers. We can also change the trace color. To update the graph, click Do It. Step 5 is to capture the graph preferences. That way you don't have to set all of these properties every time. There are a couple ways to do this. In the first way, we will open a new graph. Then we will copy all of the commands that we have used to make the previous graph. Paste them into the command line and hit enter. The graph updates. An easier method is to go to graph and capture graph prefs. In the dialog, check the features you would like to capture and click capture prefs. When you open a new graph, your graph is automatically generated with the correct preferences. That's it!